I'm diving deep into the world of Ibogaine treatment, and I'm going to uncover the truth about this controversial therapy. Can I handle what I find? Ibogaine is a name that's been making headlines lately, claiming to be a miracle solution for addiction. But with its growing popularity comes a swirl of legal and medical debates, leaving many wondering what's really going on. Addiction is a monster that millions of people around the world are fighting every day. It's a beast that can rip families apart, destroy relationships, and even take lives. And despite the best efforts of medical professionals and researchers, traditional treatment methods often fall short. Too many people relapse, and the cycle of addiction continues. It's a frustrating, heartbreaking, and seemingly endless battle. The truth is, we need new solutions, new hope, and new ways to tackle this epidemic. That's where Ibogaine comes in, or at least that's what its proponents claim. But what about the limitations of traditional treatment methods? We've all seen the ads for rehab centers, promising a beautiful, serene escape from the chaos of addiction. But the reality is often far from it. These centers can be expensive, inaccessible, and even ineffective for many. And then there are the medications, which can come with their own set of problems, from side effects to dependency. The fact is, traditional treatment methods often focus on just one aspect of addiction, rather than tackling the complex web of physical, emotional, and psychological factors that drive it. Despite the challenges, there are people out there who are desperate for a solution, and they're turning to Ibogaine. But what exactly is it, and how does it work? Ibogaine is a naturally occurring compound found in the roots of the Tabernanthi iboga plant, native to West Africa. For centuries, the Bwiti people of Gabon have used iboga as a spiritual tool, believing it helps connect with their ancestors and the divine. In the 1960s, it was first used in the West as a potential treatment for opioid addiction, with some astonishing reports of success. But how does it actually work? Proponents claim that Ibogaine resets the brain's chemistry, eliminating withdrawal symptoms and cravings in a matter of hours. It's a bold claim, and one that's backed up by some amazing testimonials. But as I dug deeper, I found that there's another side to the story. Critics argue that Ibogaine is unsafe, citing reports of hallucinations, seizures, and even death. And then, there are the concerns about its unregulated use, with many clinics and practitioners operating outside the law. I spoke to people who've undergone Ibogaine treatment, and their experiences are as varied as they are intense. Some reported a complete transformation, saying that Ibogaine saved their lives. Others told me about the nightmares, the anxiety, and the sense of being completely disconnected from reality. One story that really stood out to me was that of a woman named Sarah. She was addicted to heroin for over a decade and had tried every treatment under the sun, but nothing worked until she tried Ibogaine. With the support of her family and a team of medical professionals, Sarah underwent treatment and reported a complete cessation of cravings. It's been five years now and she's still clean. Of course, there are also the horror stories, like the guy who ended up in a coma after taking Ibogaine or the woman who experienced such intense hallucinations that she became suicidal. So what's the truth about Ibogaine treatment? Is it a miracle cure or a dangerous pipe dream? The answer lies somewhere in between. Ibogaine is not a silver bullet, and it's certainly not without its risks. But for some people, it can be a powerful tool in their journey towards recovery. The key is to approach it with caution, to be aware of the potential dangers and to do your research. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of Ibogaine treatment. It's a complex, controversial, and often confusing topic, but one that needs to be talked about. If you're struggling with addiction, or if you know someone who is, please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about alternative therapies for addiction, be sure to check out my next video.